And there goes the elevator. Not elevator. There goes the vacuum cleaner. I am just not thinking straight. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Alchemy Gaming Loot Crate Special. There's more loot crates to come because I have plenty more to share, plenty more to show off. But here we go. Let's go ahead and get on to the nitty-gritty. I just got my loot crate earlier this morning. And this is a bigger box than it was last time. So let me actually do a comparison here. Uh, actually, no. You know what? You know what? Forget that comparison. Um, I can already tell just by looking at it. Yeah, it's just like... it. It's... Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, there's people vacuuming. So don't mind the vacuuming. So let's go ahead and get on to the great big box in the sky. There is no sky. It's just a box. It's a box. It's a box. All right, anyways. Let's go ahead and get down to it. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and click out of this and click out of this. I was just doing some uh, moderation settings. I'm probably going to break my Moobot. Probably. I don't know. It doesn't matter. All right. So people are probably wondering, hey, how's, how have you been? How's Battlefront? Battlefront's doing fantastic. Okay, there's the following updates, but I will do the updates for my uh, other things later. So let's go ahead and open this box already. Let's see what we got here. Handy. Handy. Okay, let's see here. Um, it has been quite some time. There's not much else I can do about that, you know, like, you know, with work and among other things. Oh, hello. Oh, what do you know? Would you look at that? It's like a post-apocalyptic thing. Hmm. Well, something just fell out of my loot crate, and it is the pin, the button, sorry, the button. And it looks like a post-apocalyptic bus. So it's probably like a little symbolization of Fallout. Is anybody playing Fallout 4? I'm sure everyone's enjoying Fallout 4. Um, personally, I'm enjoying it myself. It takes over everyone's lives. It takes over mine. But I'm also playing Battlefront. I, also, um, I streamed a video on it a while back. I'm not uploading it to YouTube, so it's one of those once-in-a-while kind of... Ooh. Ooh. Um, okay, so, right here, here's the box, so it's open, we got, like, some old road and some cool little deke, like, you know, look at this, looks old road, but I'm looking at this here, look at this, what is this, it looks like, oh my god, it is, oh, that is really cool. These are Shredder Shaders from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the current Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So far, the current ones are pretty impressive. It's not half bad. Oh my god, there's a phone call. <laughs> hey, you know what, guys? I'm going to... I'm going to pick this one up. I'm going to pick this one up. I am on the air. So, while you guys enjoy this, enjoy this little item here, I will enjoy this phone call. Hi, how are you doing? Hey, what's going on? I'm going to put these glasses on real quick and see how cool I look with these. Um, you you are one lucky caller today. You are on the air. And how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good right now. Everybody, everybody that's watching me right now on my channel that is Alchemy Gaming is enjoying themselves watching me open my loot crate and uh, something about chicken. I'm very hungry. Ooh, I got a pin here. You are gonna love looking at this. Right when uh, are you pro are you gonna are you gonna be stopping by? Yes, I do remember where we're st we're stopping by. And let's see. Um, I can't wait until you get here. And plus, um, I'm probably gonna enjoy some of that chicken that you've been talking about. By the way, people, I'm gonna be enjoying some kitchen. Kitchen chicken. It's gonna be quite delicious. She tells me it's going to be quite delicious. By the way, my my viewers on Twitch are probably not even watching right now. I don't even know. I am just having some fun wa making my own video. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, by the way, by the way, how far are you? How far are you? Yes. Sweet. Very true. All right, cool. I can't wait till you get here. Have you? Yes, everyone on electric. Like yeah. I Bye. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, just a heads up, that was a very special someone that was on my phone, and it was a very special phone call. That is going to be a part of the episode. Sorry about the silence for the brief moments, but oh my god, I am very stoked about this. Look at this. Can you believe this? Look at this. Vault Boy. Bobblehead. It is a freaking bobblehead. I've never gotten one of these. Um, I'm going to okay grab this little handy thing that as you've seen at the beginning part of the episode. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to ever so slightly. I'm going to ever so slightly open this thing. All right. So let's see. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. So, oh. Oh. Look at you. Look at you. Yeah. Eh, you got something covered in your face there. Oh my god. Look at you. You precious little thing. Look at this. Vault Tech. That is so freaking cool. Oh. Aw. He's cute. And he bubbles. I'm gonna keep him right here. I'm gonna keep him right here, right in front of my, com my computer. I'm going to put this right here. vault Tech Industries Bobblehead. Enjoy vault Tech Sponsor. Please, be sure to play Fallout 4 if you haven't played Fallout 4. If you are a first-timer playing Fallout, the Fallout series, uh, definitely pick up Fallout 4. It's definitely a really good game. The other, Fallout, the other Fallouts, go ahead and definitely pick those up. All right, now let's see what's in the next box here. Look at this. It is a Blizzard Entertainment cute but deadly series figures one what series one figures so as you can see here you got the little cute little thing right here and as I'm just gonna show it to you one more time oh isn't it cute we got all these we got all these little potential figures we don't know what we're gonna get we might even get that mystery figure right over here um, fingers crossed so here we go here we go. Here we go. Um, how do I open this without destroying the box? Okay. I'll uh, just uh you know what? Let me see. Where's uh where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Little Mr. Handy here. Okay, let's let's go ahead and oh, got it the wrong way. I think I broke it. Oh no, that is not good. Well. I'll just leave that there. Little Mr. Handy here broke, but that's alright. That's alright. Ah. I got it open. It's looking, oh my god, it's still in the thing. It's in a little container here. Alright, let's see. Uh, it's not a container, it's a wrapper. I'm an idiot. So... Ah, oh, okay, here we go. I see, I like these. I like these, how they have the little tab on it. That way it's so easy to open it. So let's go ahead and open this up. Alright, so... Uh, Oh, no way. I think I got the fabled Lich King. I don't know. I have to check. Yep, it's the Lich King. It's freaking awesome. 
Is that is that how his arm's supposed to be? Or is his arm broken? Hmm. Well, we'll find out. Give me a second. Give me a second. I... Uh, well, here's the stand. Alright, let me just place this here. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, that's really... That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Seems that the little arm here... Yep, it broke off. I didn't break it. I didn't break it, but... That's really unfortunate. That's where the sword... That's where the sword's supposed to go. But I will figure something out. I will. So I'm going to put the sword in the arm here, and then I will eventually glue this on the Lich King. Other than that, this figure looks really cool. I'll figure it out eventually. I will figure it out. So yeah, I'll go ahead and put this right here. I got the, f the Lich King sword right here. It's really cool. Put the arm in there. He's he lost his arm. I lost my arm. I lost my arm. I lost my arm. I lost my arm. I want my arm back. <laughs> I'll give you your arm back. Yeah, you better. Okay. I'm gonna put you back in this box. That is very unfortunate. That's uh, okay though. That is all right. I'm gonna make sure there's nothing left in this wrapper. Yep, nothing left. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that out. Okay. So, so far... Oh, I forgot the little stand. Got to put that back in there, too. Okay, so, so far, things are looking very cool in here. And for you Hunger Games fans, check it out right here. We got the Mockingjay pin for The Mockingjay Part 2. If you guys haven't seen that movie yet, go ahead and go see it. Uh, I think I'll enjoy the pin. Personally, I'll enjoy the pin. And I'm enjoying these glasses a lot. They're Shredder freaking glasses. Ugh. I'm a Turtles fan, so what can you do? Nothing. You cannot stop the Turtles. Oh my god, hey, look at that. The cutie but deadly figures came with some stickers. Oh, wait. These aren't stickers. Are they what they think they are? I think they are magnets. I think they look like, like friggin' magnets. Look at this. He's got all little figures. That is really cool. Starcraft, Diablo, Warcraft. Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> that is really cool. Hmm. That is pretty damn awesome. I don't think they're magnums. Or I mean magnums. Magnets. I can't talk today. Okay, what else we got here? The Gift of the Geek from Loot Crate. What is this? It is a little envelope. So, you know what? Um, Should we save this for the end? Or... Oh, I see. Uh, and here's a special letter for the subscribers. Happy Holidays Looter at Loot Crate. We try to make our crates a special gift you'll enjoy. Use these tags to celebrate the spirit of the holidays and share the love with your geek friends and family. Regift your loot to someone who uh, will love it as much as we love you. Team Loot Crate. Aww. That's cute. That's freaking amazing. Alright, now let's see what else. Let's see what else. Oh, we got the little catalog. We got the catalog here, but we'll look at it, in la at it later. We got one last thing, and it's a comic book. It is a comic book. 
and it will remain sealed because I want it to stay sealed. But it is a Street Fighter. It's a Street Fighter comic book. Look at that. That is really cool. I wish I could read it, but I don't want to because I want to keep it sealed. Hyper. It's it's a Street Fighter number one. Loot Crate exclusive, and it's called Hyper Looting. <laughs> the funny thing how it says looting on it. Oh, uh, wow. This is really cool. The only time I would probably ever take this out of its package is if I ever wanted it autographed by any of these guys. Any, uh, or like the artists that did this. It is a really cool comic. Alright, so, for now, this is going back in the box. Let's go back in the box! It's back in the box! Oh, hello. Oh no! Oh no! Well, okay, let's not put it back in the box just yet. Let's see. This requires tape. But basically, there's a, a little city over there for post apocalyptic stuff. Really cool. Ah, <laughs> uh, wow. But for now, let's go ahead and put some of this stuff back. The comic book little magnets or whatever can could be a magnet okay I'm gonna put I'm, gonna, I'm going to keep this out of the box so I can make the repair the necessary repairs and let's see here this pin is just really cool these glasses are cool That is definitely really amazing. Uh, oh, but look at this. Look at this. I am I am super stoked about this though. Look at you. Look at this. The freaking pit like a little well, he's not a pit boy, but I'm just gonna call him Pit Boy. Because he's my he is the Pip boy. He's the boy. He's the boy. He is the vault boy. Yeah, he's the vault boy. Little Vault Boy. <laughs> vault number 111 from Vault Tech Industries. Each. Huh. What do you know? Each bobblehead is good for 10 skill points or one statistic point increase. May not exceed level 100 skills or level 10 stats by it. Opening this pack package, you agree to exempt Voltech from all responsibilities warranted or otherwise for any side effects or usage intended or otherwise of this product. Of this product, all points are not refundable and cannot be exchanged. So plan accordingly. Failure for this bobblehead to increase your stats is almost certainly your fault. And cannot be held against Voltec or its subsidiaries. Huh. So, wait. Wait a minute. So then, wait, I'm confused here. Uh, bobbleheads will permanently increase your skill stat, skills and stats. But if he increases my stats but what kind of stats does he increase hmm. well unfortunately I'm not really well versed in the whole thing so um, I'll just say he increases my stealth skills because I am very stealthy I am a stealthy person he is so cool Me. <laughs> Mm. This is really cool. Anyways. Well, like like the people in the Fallout series, since they get frozen and they and then they get woken up in the frozen post apocalyptic hell, Vault Boy is gonna go back in his seal. He's going to be well 
he's not going to be showing up in a post-apocalyptic hell, but if he does, then holy crap, I am surprised this figure would survive. Who knows? All right, so. All right, let's see. The last thing here, we got the catalog. We got the catalog, catalog, catalog. This is really, really cool. I'm going to open this up here. So we got this whole image. Honestly, this was a really good loot crate this month. I mean, not saying that the last month was not as good. It's just, you know, I mean, it, it didn't really have much. However, I am enjoying all the extra stuff, especially the flux capacitor from last month. The little, uh, the shirt I was enjoying, everything else I've been enjoying. Ah, uh, look at this. Epic video game rivalries. We got all these video game rivalries right here. You can see a little Pokemon, Mario, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat. Hmm, yep. Ken and Ryu, Scorpion Sub-Zero, oh, Red and Blue, Slash, Ash and Gary. That does make sense. Mario and Bowser. Ah, huh, that's pretty good. Loot Crate on YouTube. Did you know we make a sponsor? Da, 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 da. Well, I'll have to subscribe to them. Be sure to subscribe to me too, by the way. If you're also following this, or if you're just now watching, I just completed so far some of my Loot Crate special. If you guys haven't seen any of the Loot Crate specials, I will go over it again one more time. In just a moment, I'm just looking through this little catalog here. Ooh, we got all kinds of cool stuff in the Mega Crate. That's worth about $2,000. That's not... Uh, yeah, but you don't have to pay $2,000. But you know what I mean. <laughs> Excuse me, I just burped. <laughs> okay, let me just meh, skim through this. Ah, yes, here we go. Okay, so here we go on this month's loot. So that way you guys can understand what you get. Exclusive Cupa Deadly Magnet Set. It is a magnet set. Okay, so the magnet set, if you haven't seen the magnet set, I will I'll put the, pull that up for you. But also, if you again, if you're a Fallout fan, there's the there's the bobblehead again. I've shown if shown it enough times, to where I'm super stoked about it. Seriously. <laughs> then we got the TMNT Shredder sunglasses. They're freaking awesome. And then we got the the Hunger Games Mockingjay Part Two pin, Loot Crate Labs. That came from the Loot Crate Labs. Maybe. Then we also got the exclusive Street Fighter Hyper Looting comic book. What happens when actual Loot Crate employees team up with heroes of Street Fighter to crush the sinister Sandalo and save the world from total annihilation? Well, it might be Doomsday, but for whom? We're not saying, so you'll have to just read the original comic and find out. But I won't. You will, if you have the Loot Crate, if you have the special if you wanted to pull out the comic, and if you want to not preserve it. I want to. I want to preserve it. Oh, wow. These are all the other figures. Okay. That's still pretty cool. We got all these other figures. We got some Murlocs. We got the Lich King. We got Kerrigan. I can't remember the other characters at the moment. Diablo, I think. One of them is Diablo. Yeah, that's Diablo. And then we got that combat button. Oh, man, I'm starving. Oh, I'll probably go ahead and grab some food. Ah, but, other than that, I am pleased to see another fantastic loot crate opened up and ready to be used for my personal awesomeness. And I will make my necessary repairs on my cute but deadly little figurine right here. Because the Lich King needs to fix his arm. Needs to fix it. He is not complete without his arm. He is not. Not at all. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Another freaking loot crate special from Alchemy Gaming. 
This is Alchemist743 of Alchemy Gaming signing off. Then I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Please leave a comment down below. And please be sure to check out my Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Alchemist743. Go ahead and check my profile. There is my Instagram, my Facebook, my, my Twitter. Check everything out. Link is down in the description below. But if you guys are watching this on, on Twitch, then please be sure to leave a follow. Either way, I had fun. I'm enjoying myself. And I'm going to wear those sunglasses outside today. The relevance of today, tomorrow, the next day, and all that is irrelevant. Because this video is the here and now. Anyways. Signing off, guys. It's been real. And hope to check out my next couple of videos on Twitch.tv. Because it'll only go on Twitch.tv. Because I... I don't know if I'll be uploading for a little while. I need to make some necessary upgrades with my PC. So, until that time, check out my once and my once and only once video, once in a lifetime videos on Twitch.tv because I'll be playing. I'll be playing some. Uh, well, eventually I will start up some Fallout, like a fresh, like somewhat fresh character and continue my adventure where I'm going and hopefully I can be able to upload those and then I'll also um, let's see I, I'll do the best I can to play some more Battlefront hopefully with a little less lag if I keep continuing the lag I don't care I'll keep playing as long as you guys keep on watching until then it has been real this is Alchemist 743 of Alchemy Gaming signing off it's been real